What is up, everybody? Predator three hundred one here, back for another episode of underrated question 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 mark. Now today we're covering the P ninety, which is probably one of the biggest magazine guns in the game. It has fifty magazines, but I shouldn't tell you that now. I should tell you that later in the video when we get to the statistics of the gun itself. So let's get into my custom class. My custom class is the normal, pretty much setup with uh, P ninety silencer and kick, the usual perks, sleight of hand, quick draw, and stalker. Uh, I would really recommend a different perk combination, but I'll have to tell you that later. The I'm ro rocking the Assault Strike Package simply because it's got a lot of bolts, so I wouldn't really recommend the Specialist unless you're going for like a Moab, or you just want to be that Super Soldier badass that you really want to be all the time. So, let's get straight into the video. So, the P90 in real life is called the FNP90 by a dude named Herstel in Belgium. Now, the gun was in service from 1991 till the present and was designed from 1986 to 1990. So it took four, 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 not 40, four years to produce, to design the gun, sorry. There are very many variants to the gun. There's probably about five or six. Which are simply different barrel lengths, different stock lengths, different magazine lengths for better mobility, lesser mobility. It all depends on what kind of engagement you're heading into. If you're heading into like a building, let's say in Iran or Afghanistan, where you got to be close quarters, you want a smaller barrel. But let's say you're headed into Russia and you want a bigger barrel because people are going to be at medium range, not short range all the time. It all depends on what kind of engagement you have. And the Marines or the soldiers, the military, prepares for each engagement, so you have to control the engagement, as Woody's Gamertag says. So, the gun has been in five wars. It's been in the Gulf War, Afghanistan War, like I said, the Iraq War as well. It was also in the Mexican Drug War and the Libya 2012, like, politic war with Gaddafi. Uh, I don't really know how that worked out for them, but whatever. 40 countries use this gun, which does mean that it's a fan favorite, as some people say. But that's about that's about all she wrote. That's a weird thing. I don't know if that made sense. But what I'm trying to say is that that's pretty much about all the facts I can give you, besides all the detailed facts about like how long the barrels are, more detailed facts about the gun itself. I don't know if you guys want to hear that, but honestly, I don't think you do. You just want to hear my the gun stats. So you can find out how to kill some bitches a little bit faster. So, the gun does 42 damage points at a close range and the same amount at a long range as all the other guns, which is 20. Uh, so it kills in 3 bullets close range and 5 bullets at a distance, which is the default for every single gun, I'm guessing. Because 2 bullets is a little bit too overpowered, which the M16 does, but is a burst fire, which that's what cuts it back. So... The rounds it has is 50 rounds, and it has 75 rounds with extended mags. So, with extended mags, you are looking at about almost almost a whole clip extra, which is pretty... No, you're looking at about one clip and a little bit extra. Um, the starting ammunition for this gun is three magazines, but it's pretty crazy because it's 180 bullets. That's almost the total amount of bullets you can get with a, an assault rifle like the ACR. With the ACR, you can only get 90 bullets. With this one, it's 150, so it's almost double at what you could get. The maximum, the maximum amount of ammunition you can have on this weapon is six rounds, which is 300 bullets, which is a shitload of bullets. So let's get into how I played with this gun. I would really recommend um, rapid fire, extended mags, or silencer, simply because they're one of those better attachments for the weapon itself. Uh, you could rock ex extended mags simply because if you want to use scavenger and the specialist bonus, sorry, um, and steady aim, then you could run around, have a big clip, and be quiet at the same time. So that really works out for people. I unfortunately have not gotten to that level with my P90, but when I do get there, um, I will get the attachments proficiency because it is the best. What I want to say was get the extended mags um, a attachment, but I kind of faded off there. I wouldn't really recommend the kick proficiency simply because the gun already has a low amount of recoil, so it wouldn't make too much of a difference. If you want, I would really recommend rocking focus, stability, or attachments. 
simply because they're one of the better perks. I would really recommend running Steady Aim and Scavenger on this and maybe Blast Shield simply because you're going to be in the engagement a lot as I hip fire people right here right now. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed this uh, weapon guide, I guess you'd call these. Uh, remember to leave a like and remember to subscribe because it always helps me. You guys have gone crazy with the likes so far, so let's try and keep it up. Um, remember to go and try out the gun if you haven't already. I'm Predator301 here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome day. Bye.